Hi everyone, welcome to Cryker Design Space. Uh, today I'm gonna discuss and uh, we're gonna learn about a project. Uh, it's gonna be a happy body cut, but I'm gonna change a few things so you can try new projects. So the previous video that I uploaded, uh, I got comments like the voice was not audible enough. But it was audible. But it was audible. Uh, so here again, I'm gonna give a little introduction to the design space. So I'm gonna be very quick. So please don't feel wrong. Yeah, I have uh, TriCut Explore Air uh, 2. So there's a new release of TriCut, which is an which is an awesome awesome machine. Hope to get my hands on it very soon. It's so portable that you can just pop it in your suitcase and take it anywhere that you wanna go. So here coming to the design space, you can see all kinds of uh, projects like it says Cricut Access. If you have Cricut Access, then you can uh, use this project for free. Uh, meaning that you have to pay for the subscription monthly or yearly. Uh, if not, you have to pay for individual projects. So infusible ink projects, cardstock projects, stitching, and uh, you have vinyl, iron on, for different occasions and crafts of different types and everything you just name it they have it so whichever uh, project that you're working or the theme that you're working you can just browse it and find the projects you can either buy it or take inspiration from it and design your own projects i don't have cricut access i've not paid for the subscription so i design my own projects any which way given the uh, i'll take the inspirations from all these I do my projects on my I do my projects on my own so this is about the design uh, space. The okay, this is the camera you're gonna. This is where you're gonna design your projects. All the new projects that you wanna do, you're gonna design it here. So the options that here, these are like coming to templates. These are reference images. These will not be saved. Remember, these images cannot be saved. These act only as reference. So you want to do some work like say iron on or vinyl or you know want to do and stuff so you don't have the time or like you you are in a hurry to give your orders done or your work done so you can use these images as your uh, reference and do your work around it and the work that you can the work that you've done can be saved and these images don't so you can cop copy them duplicate them and then take it and then you can do your work around. So these are the references like you want to do it on a t-shirt so this is the standard t-shirt design that you get based on the size of the t-shirt that you have you can design your work around usually it's iron on that you do so yeah these are the images you can pick any image you wanna you name it and they have it so you can do all all your work like based on these images you can design your projects so coming to the projects icon so like i showed in you uh, showed you in the starting about the design space so here there are again you can access them from this option as well so what your projects you can pick your projects directly from here and it gets uploaded onto your canvas so you can use them directly use them without any um redesigning or without any hassle you can just upload the projects onto your canvas and you can do them let's say i'm gonna take something of cardstock so yeah, these cute little uh, cake toppers. Yeah. So uh, they're gonna give you like the description and the materials that they used and how they finished it, everything, etc. So you can make them like they're gonna give you the materials, the machine that they use. They have used uh, Cricut Joy. So you can do it in your explore or your makeup. So this is how it is. They're gonna give you the size of the material that they used so or make it or make it or customize it if you make it or customize it either of the options you can edit like basically you can add new or anything or anything or anything that you want to or resize them and then use it directly or you can go ahead happily so coming to the images these are like images the visual images that are there these are usually SVG and PNG formats that uh, are used. SVG and PNG formats are the best to use because they give you the option of layering. Layering is an option where you know you can 
take out uh, their uh, how do i explain this so the multiple layers that have been uh, put on one on top of sorry i'm sorry i'm very bad at um, um svg meaning like the layers are stacked up so you can take out particular layers you can change and you can change the colors you can edit the layers or you can cut them or you can add them you can do whatever you want to you can basically play with them like crazily play with them so most of them again are paid so you need to have credit or taxes or monthly or yearly subscription to use these images there are some images you can use that you can use but then else you can also download your svgs from any other websites that you can that you can feel free and get it for free so this is how it is they have like a gazillion choice you can images that you can use for your work so getting back to the canvas the text is going to pop where you can text box where you can type your messages or uh, you know phrases or just your alphabets or letters for your work something shapes is something where these are the basic shapes based on which you can design your projects you can use them instead of uploading them again and again so upload is an option where you can upload a image or a pattern so it can be anything you can choose photos or patterns or images so i have a couple of images and patterns that i have uploaded so i prefer to do that i save them pre previously like whenever i have some time i'm going to download images of my pre next projects uh, or any ideas that i have i just find the svg and png formats uh and then i download them you can also use jpeg or uh, any other formats that you find like mentioned here jpg gif png bmp etc you can use them but then it's going to be a little difficult with editing or you know you want to change some uh things on your images or your patterns it's going to be a little difficult so i would rather prefer uh png and svg format png you can use for your patterns and your images as well but then svg is only for your images because you have different layers in svg you can play with your layers yeah. uh so now we are going to do is we are going to make a project yeah uh i'll show you the project that we are going to work on how to do it but we are going to change a few things uh these are the things i mean this is how it is going to look but instead of happy birthday we are going to try doing something else today then it's going to be a car so here we are going to learn different options of slice weld attach and contour so these fonts have taken from cricut itself and this mandala design is uh, the image that i have uploaded uh so we are going to try doing this So let me start a new one. Okay, you can take a, a any size of card. It might be three inches or six inches or seven inches. Here today we're gonna do a standard card that I feel a standard is four by six. So we're gonna go on that. So starting, you can just put in a square. Okay, here. now you want to add a particular size it's going to be a rectangle so what do you so what do you have to do is unlock the image so you can edit it as you like so the sizing is going to be this way the width is going to be 4 plus 4 8 and the height is going to be 6 okay and sorry So this is set. I'm gonna yeah that one point five by one point five. But to make it easy for myself, I'm gonna put it on a whole number than a decimal, so it's easy to align. And then now we need to fold our cards. And 
all of us know as crafters it is very difficult to get a even fold so to make it easier we have something called a scoring line so in the shapes you always find the score line you can select it so now we know the length of a card that is 6 so you can get 6 inches and we know where the center is that is at 4 but then since your card is starting at 1 remember it is not always at 4 it should be at 5 so you can align it position it in such a way five and then this at one there. so your score line is in place so from to make this what you have to do is select all and say match. so your score line is set you don't have to do anything else so when you take your card and you put it into your machine so the line is gonna stick and when you get it out it's easy to fold you just blindly have to fold through it so now coming to the font we're gonna say happy holidays because we're all quarantined and our house is gonna so this is gonna be happy holidays I'm gonna take it into two words happy and holidays so I'm gonna edit each word at a time so it's easier for me because I if I say happy holidays or happy birthday it's gonna give me as a group so it's very difficult for me to undo them again and group them again and align them accordingly so always remember if you have multiple alignings and not in one space or one uh, position like horizontal entire word the entire word not being in a, a one uh, how do I say one space so if it is not in one space it is always good to go at individual words or individual alphabets and not as a group so now this is grouped so you don't have to worry because this is what you want this is the only word that you're gonna edit as a whole and not as an individual alphabet so I'm gonna from cracker from cracker I love uh, Krikert alphabet which I don't know this it's just mesmerizing so I'm so I'm gonna use the same font you can feel free type of font in type of fonts that you want to and you can layer it since this card has two different layers I would love to show you how to do to give that multiple effect so this uh, as I said this is the eye in the previous video this is the eye which will be hide hide few of your work to enable it and to make it easy for you so yeah see this has two layers so you can use both now today I'm just gonna show the size see you've seen the size and yet again un unlock to edit unlock to edit it so this is 5.5 inches but then your card itself is 4 inches on one side so you can reduce it to whatever uh, size you know let me say 3 but then 1 inch is the height of 1 inch is looking too big for the card so let's say we are going to make it like around 0.6 mm, maybe 7 yeah this should work perfect so this work is done now you don't have to you don't have to keep editing both see uh, i'm gonna change the font colors So here I'm changing the colors, contrast of different contrast of different colors. Uh, so you can individually do it. You don't have to, you know, always go up and say, okay, 
this is what I'm gonna do it's gonna stay uh, you know uh, the same color you can always change the colors irrespective of the cardstock color that you're gonna put onto your machine sorry yeah. there we go you can still ungroup this but I wouldn't like to ungroup it because if I ungroup it again aligning is gonna be very difficult but then again it depends on your project now that it's only one word as a whole that I'm using ungrouping will be easy uh, but then again I would still suggest this please don't do that unless and until you're doing it as an individual alphabet or an individual letter okay and then the line type here is cut since this is going to be a separate entity as such and it, it has to be cut not drawn on your card so I'm going to keep the fun line type as cut you can also use draw or so we so we don't need either of these because we're not going to do so we're going to keep it as cut so you don't need any printing and you're not printing and cutting it you're just going to cut it directly onto your cut stock now uh, you've already aligned your uh, you've sized your font you've used in the uh, style and your font size has already been decided accordingly it, it's gonna approximate you can reduce it or increase it as you like and the letter spacing let's say it's 1.2 uh, you can make it 1 so your letters are gonna come a little layer uh, this you don't have to do unless and until you're attaching this particular uh, word onto your card or your work it might be a card or it might be a shirt that you're going to do some vinyl work or anything you don't have to space the letters because you can space it these are going to be cut separately so you can space it however you want to and it will be stuck it cannot be uh, you don't have to change the letter spacing so this individually will be cut don't have to worry about don't have to worry about it you can space it with however you want to on your card the same thing with line spacing line spacing happens only when you're having paragraphs together or multiple lines that has to be written or cut or done anything else like scored or drawn onto your card you can change the space and the alignment also only works for when you have more than one word or you when you're giving one or more sentences that you're going to do and curve is an amazing option that you find on Cricut. Like you can basically uh, turn your fonts. See, it goes up and down. This is an amazing one. Uh, when you're gonna do, uh, how do I say, as a whole. Now again, uh, it's a little confusing. I don't understand. But now, you're gonna do it in a circle. You're gonna cut a circle in which you have this particular font. Uh, the word so this is very useful like you can do whatever you want to do with it there. Uh, so again coming to these the same uh, ungroup uh, the letters here that you have you can ungroup the layers also that's not a problem so these two layers have separated now so you can fiddle with them however you want to let's say this color can be changed lighter lighter much lighter maybe yeah this perfect so now you've ch changed the layers both the layers will be getting cut at a different uh, color cut stuff so either you can choose blue or you can choose green it doesn't have to be green or an emission you have to upload green you can upload any other color as well it doesn't matter so your happy is done so now coming to post this close this so the your sizes remain the same and it doesn't change by any mistake like by chance that you have multiple words that you've been editing and suddenly you don't realize that you've not locked for one of your words and then you click on it and the size gets changed and you don't remember the size that you have to do so it's always good that you use the lock sign and your mesh does fixed doesn't go anywhere i mean it doesn't get changed respectively unless and until you've unlocked it so for the next one holi holidays here uh, today I'm not going to align them vertically 
then I'm gonna do it horizontally so it's gonna top of the, top of the cap so now the cap size is 4 inches so unlock again and say you wanted it um, 3.5 inches and 7 inches so 0.7 inches yeah this should be perfect now uh, see it locked and I say I have to change this to 3 so it approximates the values and it changes automatically you don't have to worry but then if you want any particular size for your work then you have to again unlock it go back change your values and there you have it so now uh, this I have to put it here and a simple attach option is not going to work it's going to split up again and it's not going to be any use so here's something that you can do you can use the option when so I don't want the inner layer meaning this meaning this wait a minute we are going to let's separate yep. so here I'm gonna take the behind layer which is the background layer I'm gonna edit that because this is gonna be welded to your card and the top layer is what you're gonna attach to it you are gonna stick it to it so that's gonna give you an effect so here it is we are gonna play with this but then I would always suggest keep open open and play together because when you're editing it you want edited fonts to be edited together not the individual fonts meaning if you edit one set the next set is gonna align accordingly Okay, so now the spacing absolutely does is absolutely perfect for me. Uh, let me see. Maybe space it a little more closer. This should do for me. Yep. And you can hide this always. So based on the work that you're gonna do, you can put the image a little lower. Like you just want half of it. So this is what you can do. So now there's an option called weld. Okay. When you say attach, see this is what happens. It is not gonna cut, it's just gonna be layered on it. And when you say make it Sorry for the internet speed. Really slow. Okay, in the meantime, I'm gonna try explain you other things. for the trouble so since my internet speed is very bad I, I was not able to show how it looks uh, but then uh, I can show you that it's gonna uh, get separate and it's gonna have card as a separate and the word as a separate one okay so you can use CD touch select and weld so here it is so what happens is your word and the letter fused 
your word and so your card and the leg word has been fused together now if when you cut it's going to cut along with your word so you don't have to worry about it now if you have seen something your score line has just disappeared because it got welded when you welded your score line disappears so don't make this mistake but then don't worry you can redo it always so a line is 6 inches and you're going to space it at 5 and 1 and select say attach voila you have it here and then oops uh, sorry again i made a terrible mistake of well explaining i was overwhelmed with my explanation so very sorry yeah uh, before i weld the image into this You can ungroup the layers, right? And you can take this layer out and keep it aside because once it's welded, you're gonna lose this. Like just now, what you saw, you're gonna lose this upper layer, the top uh, layer. So now, and also, you can keep the score line in holidays and see. Well, so your top layer is saved. You can happily go sit here. See, it's at the behind. So, say move it to forward. You can just drag it and put it on the top. So, voila. I'm gonna change the color to just make sure that you guys can see it properly. Yeah, you can see it. So, these letters are gonna get cut separately. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. So what am I going, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to attach a score line again because since I used the weld option the uh, score line also disappeared along with it it got welded since it's just a line that just disappears in there you go so your basic card is ready you have your you have your words ready your words are done for the card now what so till now what we have learned is how to weld how to attach how to separate out your layers and fiddle a little with your font like spacing the sizing and how to unlock your words and then resize them accordingly uh, like that and then now what we're gonna do is slicing effect so designing your card so coming to the sh uploads can we do here okay uh, let's take this beautiful butterfly here yeah you have a butterfly here just like that say unlock okay I'm gonna move this image a little lower so we can Everyone can see easily. 
here we are so i don't want it to be too big because our card itself is uh, four inches by six inches so what am i gonna do is i'm gonna reduce it to two inches and here i'm not looking for a uh, particular size that i'm gonna put on the card i just want it to be small so i can put it like in multiple places so now uh, an easy trick that i've learned through is you can go for the bigger size the bigger either the width or the height whichever is bigger go for it and say two and there you go and so now it's gonna be drawn on the card not cut so what we can do is i'm gonna make duplicates of this okay since we're done with this work we can move these down so we don't do any by mistake don't delete them or you know change the arrangement that we have made to it yeah now i'm gonna duplicate them uh i think i'm gonna put like three butterflies around You can rotate them to whatever state you want to. So I'm gonna leave some space here to write happy. Yeah. So now these two you don't have to worry about. You can just say draw, and it's gone. You can change the color so just to make sure it looks bright. Yeah. And say draw again. I'm making it look fluorescent because it's much easier to see on the screen uh, but then you can use any color depending on the pen that you're going to use you can use any color so whichever color you're using so make sure the tip that you're using you're going to change here uh, the reason why I'm going to emphasize on this is see now what happens for each pen they're going to uh, put different pressures so when you say it's 0.4 and then you're using a 0.1 uh, mm uh, gel pen the force that's going to be applied for 0.4 is higher than 1 mm so your uh, point, uh, pen tip is going to break if it's a fragile one so just make sure and remember that you always mention which thickness pen that you're using okay. the higher the uh, thickness then the less pressure that you're going to see the lesser the thickness, the more pressure you're going to see because it has to draw onto your cards. Okay, so just remember here I'm going to have used fine point, so fine point it is. Now, uh, again, change this to draw and three. Okay, so now we have this particular small extra part that you see here, right? So what we're gonna do is take this and the entire card surprisingly I'm not able to find slice option Okay guys, so if this happens, like today I'm going to be hazard about it. If this happens, you don't have to worry. What you can do is, take a square and place your butterfly here. So, yeah. 
this is what I don't want to have on my car right so say slice okay and there you have see this is the fun part of slice you can just slice whatever you want to you get two different layers and this also you can use to give an effect so this you can use this cut on your card and this is a cut and this is a drop so when you slice you get three different patterns so one which is embedded into your card which you can use as a cut option and then the layered basic layer of the cut and the second option that you've edited is drop so you're gonna get all these so i don't need any of it so i'm just gonna delete them So I'm gonna attach all these. Fine. So this is done. Your happy holidays is done. It's ready. You have not fiddled with it. Happy is also ready. So now um, the card is absolutely ready. One thing is, see, you can align it however you want. You can go vertical, you can go horizontal, or you can just put happy here and you can play holidays here. Since holidays is a bigger word, playing with it is gonna be time consuming. So I choose happy to be the one to play with, and holidays is the one to going to be fixed. So you can choose different mandalas. Here I've used a butterfly. You can use any kind of mandala that you have, an elephant, a giraffe, a circle, uh, anything. Anything you name it and you have it. SVG format is the best, I would always suggest. So this is gonna be a simple card. So now uh, the things that we learned uh, uh, that I explained today is slice, weld and attach option. Uh, so in the next project that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna explain you guys how to use uh, flatten and contour and I'm gonna use the same butterflies and show you how you can lay off butterflies and make it double layered but not having this uh, the base layer not having a design cut but a uh, plain cut. Though you have your design cut butterfly and you don't get the plain background and your patterns are different so you can use contour function to do this so in the next session uh, in the next video i'm gonna explain you how to use contour and flatten so hope this was fun doing and i hope to see all your projects and uh, it's and you had fun doing them in your quarantine time or any other time for that matter so now if i say i'm gonna save this project Saving your projects is gonna take a little time based on the uh, amount of work that you have on Canvas. So since I'm, I've used almost all the three options and I have text and I have uh, image that I've taken, pattern that I've taken, it's gonna take a while to save your projects. So don't worry, irrespective of the speed of your computer, it's gonna take time. So we gotta wait for it. So our project is saved. Now you can make it. Yeah. So there you can see uh, uh, your card and happy. See, uh, you've got four different mats. This actually doesn't have to be four different mats. It can just be one mat and different colors or you can use two different cardstocks and two mats this is not going to be a problem i'm going to show it how so we're just going to press back 
uh, see you don't have to waste your full card stock or your time what i would always suggest and i have found it easy is just make the colors the same okay so you have it there okay now the trick behind this is when you're doing it you your words are very small like two inches three inches so if you want multiple colors then what you can do is you can just uh, cut the cardstock of that size a little bigger than the size of your uh, words and then just stick it on your mat and you can do all the cuts accordingly just that you have to be careful when you're aligning your cards you're not over aligning them so when you're going to cut them they're not going to over cut onto the different cardstocks so one trick that you can do is like now see we are cut down to two cardstocks so this is your whole cardstock that you're going to use this is draw and this has been welded into it so it's going to cut as a whole and this is going to be scored see so since these are all the same colors let's say that you have uh, you have two colors in mind one for the holidays and one for happy so just to make sure happy and put it at two inches so you know you've used only two inches by four inches card and then align it here so simple you can take a two inch by four inch card and then you can take another two inch by four inch card another two inch by four inch card you have three different colors and it is cutting at three different positions on your mat so this is gonna save your time and also the pain of changing the mats for just one word which is two inches big so these are the tricks small tricks that you can keep in mind when you're doing your projects that uh, that can save a lot of time a lot of cutting and a lot of patience right so happy crafting guys hope you're gonna do this and uh, post it on your pages and uh, wish that you can tag me uh, if you tag or give a credit i would be rather more than happy and it's nothing to do for promoting my page it's just sharing of crafting that's all so see you guys in the next video and uh, in the next video again i'm gonna say i'm gonna teach you how to use flatten and contour and happy crafting see ya